with a man that made it all happen that dad. How does it feel as a father to see your son with that his dream? Mate, I'm, just, I'm still like floating on cloud nine, mate. I mean, we've been through a hard, long road, mate. We've been doing this day in, day out, day in, day out with George. Um, no one had any faith in us. They said, why is the care basis? His father and son team going overseas. Why are they doing this over there? You know, why are they why are they not taking easy fights here and making money? Well that wasn't about that. It was about taking the tough fights in, in the mecca of boxing and uh, step by step, moment by moment, ups and downs, highs and lows, all the hurdles, uh, death of my dad, pretty much all the distractions. We never lost focus on one thing and that was to become not only a world champion, the undisputed world champion. So now we've achieved this. We're the shot callers, we control what we do next. And Australia's going to end up seeing a mega, mega event. Mate, talk to us about the week of the fight, Jim. You were in it, mate. You were invested. <laughs> Senior had nothing on you. Mate, about that. mate, it was it was a really it was a really like the whole the whole build up was like you could tell everyone's walking around on eggshells, mate. It was ready to explode. And, yeah, you know. And, and when I, before they we got there, they said, Jim, you want to stay in the same hell tip, uh, hotel as Lopez's team? I said, no, nah, man. We want to stay in our own hotel, we don't want any bullshit. We want to just concentrate on this fight and we don't want to be running into each other in the lobby and, and pretty much everyone's having a go on each other. But come the gym that day, it was a media workout and uh, they finished their workout but Lopez's dad wouldn't be an idiot. <laughs> and you know what? He keeps saying, what line? In my life, you cross the line, it's on. you get the heat. <laughs> so I put him in his place and uh, I think that kind of set the tone for what was coming next. Just before we wrap it, Jimmy, how did you keep your composure in the fight? Because there was a plan, you stuck to the plan, you were very cool, yeah. you calm, collected. They just arrived, guys, in Sydney Airport. Yeah. The you. man behind Jim, uh, right, George Cambo, right Father Jim, had to keep the composure in the fight. Jimmy. Yeah, look, we did. We had a plan all the time. We were never going to go away from the plan. We knew that uh, Lopez was going to come early. We knew, you know, even with training, uh, with the sparring partners we used, uh, basically the, the plan that we had between the team and myself and everyone else was survive the first three rounds. You survive the first three, you win this fight. You don't make a mistake, you win this fight. Well, George, as we all saw, the first round, he absolutely got bombed. Survive, survive, and next thing you know, he lands that beautiful right hand and told Lopez, hey, I'm here. And, and got his respect. Once he got his respect, it was just a matter of George breaking him down with everything that we worked on. But the biggest thing is, we said, don't make a mistake. He never made a mistake. And when he did make a mistake in, in round 10, he wasn't hurt, but he came back and he said, I made a mistake, now I'm going to punish him for the next two rounds. And George's best round was round 11, and he closed it off in round 12. So he, was, he had a bit of a flash knockdown, nothing over the top, but that was his mistake, and he realised it. And afterwards, the aftermath, the celebration, the parties in New York City, the great how was that? Yeah, well, look, you know what, to be honest, there wasn't much party because we straight away got into a media tour. I mean, we had so much media, the Americans loved George, you know, so we literally had no time. By the time George went to the hospital to do um, just the, the, the requirements for after a fight, they tested you out, we were in there for five hours. By the time we got back, it was six in the morning, um, literally a little bit of sleep for a couple of hours, back into the media run. To be honest, we haven't even had a beer yet. We haven't even had a drink, no celebration. It's all been business. We've travelled basically from uh, uh, from New York from the fight, went to Miami to do media. Then from Miami, we went to basically Vegas. From Vegas, we went to the fights, Haney, Jojo Diaz, more media. From there, we went to Los Angeles, Javante Davis, Cruz fight, more media. From there, we flew all the way back to Texas, um, basically for the um, podcast with uh, Joe Rogan. Uh, mate, it's been crazy, but look, it's great. George has lapped it up, he's enjoyed every moment, and he thoroughly deserves it. I mean, we worked as a team, I did all the work behind the scenes, kept him kept him basically grounded, made sure that, uh, you know, he wasn't distracted by anything, business matters, um, thriller, defaults, anything, you just concentrate your fight, bro. You know? 100%, the dream became your reality. Jim, is that a pleasure, yeah, mate? Congratulations, no, no, thank enjoy you so it, much, up, mate. Thank you. And we'll see you soon, huh? Thanks, guys. Mate, stay tuned. Mate. Haney, maybe Javante, maybe Lomachenko, Marvel Stadium, 80,000. You heard it here first. Yeah.